Hey guys, it's Al here playing some more scrap mechanic. For those who might have been around during the earlier parts of the channel, you might remember that I used to do a lot of AI based creations and kind of wandering creations early on in the channel. I thought I'd take a second to kind of go back to that. I had an idea I wanted to do and it's not 100% successful. I'd say it's about 85-90% successful. There are some issues with it. And it is kind of at a proof of concept stage currently, but I would like to show you guys what I've been working on and kind of how it works explain a little bit of that so these are the new ai they're technically the same thing just one is on wheels so it can move as it goes but this is the base unit here the concept of what this does is it's kind of a uh it can look at obstacles in front of it it can memorize those obstacles temporarily and it can take that memorized set of obstacles and prioritize which one it should worry about first based on its location and its distance. But because of the limitation of sensors in vanilla, I can't give it the best ability to do so. I am one that doesn't really like blueprint editing and modding. I might do it for this creation if it's needed, but I do want to show it off as it is. So I'm actually going to go ahead and turn it on. There is a switch right here. And we're going to look at some of the different parts that are here. Why did this only go once? I'm actually going to turn this up. So, come on, get faster. There we go. Give a quick explanation of what exactly is going on here. So, of course, up here you have the sensor head. Honestly, the reason it's three wide is so that the sensor has a longer time to pick up obstacles. This is mostly beneficial to the memory cell. Memory cell being that large chunk back here. And other than that, you have a 20, 15, and 10 block range which calculates the severity of it how close it is this comes back and this little system here is what determines the rotation of that front sensor and sends that data to what is here this compares the distance sent by this the location sent by this and then it maps out the obstacle distance and position on this grid and then this grid is sent to this system here, which is a memory cell. So every time this goes by, it'll reset the cell. And as soon as it leaves it, it'll take a quick snapshot of whatever was there and then save it. So that is how that works. And then from the back of the memory cell, we have this, which is still part of the memory cell technically. Um, but as you can see, it once again, it maps out these memory cells. So if I go and grab myself an obstacle say put it here as you can see it actually turns on all of them because it is really close and if we come here you can see it kind of up here right in this section there and because of the rotation of the sensor head sometimes it doesn't pick it up in the same spot every time but it still has the same functionality regardless that is sent to the memory cell which memorizes where it sees it at and every once in a while because the sensor head is rotating it doesn't get the best glimpse which is what causes these flashes and it maps it out so then i simply color coded it for the sake of seeing where they are the red is severe everything that is close is automatically severe everything that's mostly in front of it and at a medium range is severe and everything that is directly in front of it is always severe then you have orange which is medium and then you have yellow which is light and then this chunk right here down below me takes all that data looks at the severity of each one if it's on the right if it's on the left and then takes those priorities and figures out which way it should turn based on which one has the more priority which one has the more severe obstacle and that is sent back here where it can be interpreted by a left right turning system which is what this uses hopefully this made some sense so if I have an obstacle here this is automatically red but if I put one here that doesn't even pick up put one here will that pick up no it does not like I said the ability of sensors in vanilla can yeah there we go it's sometimes lacking so as you can see it does pick this one up and it does pick the second one up 
every once in a while like i said it doesn't work exactly but as you can see even though there is one here and there is one here this one is a higher priority so the logic sends it through and determines that there is a more prioritized obstacle on the left than there is on the right because the one on the left is closer okay that was a lot to explain hopefully that made some sense and I know some people don't like when I explain things, but I really wanted to go through how this works because it doesn't always work the best while driving, but as a proof of concept, it does do exactly what it should. And actually I need to grab a lift because I'm going to turn this back around and head it the other direction. That way I actually have some more obstacles to go towards. I'll just leave that running. So now that I've explained it, I can kind of show it off. But I think the best way to do so would be something like a time lapse. I've done these before and I rather enjoy them just leaving a creation to go on its own. Um, one side effect I forgot to mention is because the sensor scans and memorizes obstacles, it won't reset its turning pattern until it's scanned a section again, which will reset it. So how you want to say it will always ensure that it, it navigates around an obstacle before it will forget about it. Because every time it scans it, it'll see if it's still there. If it's still there, it'll keep turning. If it's not there, then it'll reset the steering system. So as we come to our first tree, it has noticed it and is turning. And it goes, okay, now there's not a tree there. Keeps going. I'm going to go ahead and actually turn off my face cam and go put on some music. So you guys can enjoy a quick relaxing ride. 